start uh, photography and snowboarding? Uh, I was riding with uh, my mate Norman. <laughs> yeah. We uh, always used to ride together. And then uh, I moved to the States for two years and I quit snowboarding. And then when I came back, they were all pretty much semi pro and stuff. And I was semi zero. <laughs> so to keep going up to the mountain, I, I started photography. I, I never really knew how to shoot stuff, you know? I was doing like a lot of black and white. So yeah. When people saw the photos, even when they're like like blurry and stuff, I'm like, ah, oh, that's really artsy. Yeah. And, you know, it's like that's trademark. But it was just because I, I had no clue how to shoot photos. I didn't know the settings. I always just put like the, that infinity. Yeah. Did you do the focus? And sometimes it'd be focused, sometimes it'd be blurry. Hey man, don't oh, tell that on the interview. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's funny because a lot of people gave me like credit for like being like artsy or something. I just didn't know. I had no clue how to. Sh I, I didn't know anything about technique. All right. All right. Take the slides and scratch them, or make it like take sh the shitty photos. But the writing was good, so I like had to find ways to make it look good. So today you're like a senior photographer at, on board Mag. Yeah. How's it like? What's the plan? How does it work? Cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> Easy life. So what's your plan for the season? I'm gonna go to uh, Davos next week for the uh, O'Neill SP Jam. Yeah. O'Neill Evolution. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, to Lux, Rio. Yeah. We're gonna do uh, after that in Courchevel with Darius and Kiki. And then uh, I'm gonna shoot with some Finnish guys too at the same time in Davos for flat lights going. Alright. And uh, I don't know, just a bunch of. But this is the. Uh, what is it? <laughs> US 1D, yeah. Mark 2, and it's uh, digital, yeah. and it's like uh, the lens, it's a 17-35, it's a wide angle, it's yeah. not a fish eye, but it's a wide angle. And what uh, kind of settings do you put on this, this light? Uh, it, usually when it's, when it's sunny like this, it's around 1,500 You know what, before with, with film, it's always... With 100 ISO, you put 1005.6, but now with digital, it's different. You have a raw file, yeah, and it's a, it looks really shitty. But then at the magazine, they they, they do all the, the levels and everything. All right. And they don't want the photographers to do to do their own levels. Okay. And you know, photographers get a little bit carried away and make it all art team fight. So it's on board. You send them the picture, and then they work on the. Yeah. Yeah, they take the, the raw files and then they do the levels and stuff. But that's the problem sometimes, because you know, when you shoot something, you have an idea in your head. Yeah. And they send it and they don't really, they know. So, Pat, could you give us like some piece of advice for photographers who want to make a career into snowboarding? I think there's different ways, you know. Like, I'd be really passionate about photographers and, and like, you know, find your way into the, into the scene or... And a lot of people like they started snowboarders and then you know, like me they just get interested in photography. Yeah. There's more ways to get into the scene, but I don't, I don't think I think you have to be passionate about either snowboarding. Or Thanks a lot, man. <laughs> Enjoy your winter. Yeah. Sorry, man. Oh, shit. Let me go. Sad, good, Today? Yeah. <laughs>